It is perfectly rational on the basis of reading that text to expect the world to end and for Jesus, Jesus to be the only savior of it. Therefore, if you, know, if, if you happen to be born a Hindu... Yes, the text, if you read the Bible, you are going to come to that conclusion. Sam saying you will, and yes, he's right. You would come to that conclusion. Now... Hindu or born a Muslim or, or, or born a Jew who doesn't recognize Jesus to be the Messiah. Such as you, Sam, right? Which is you, okay. Yeah, you are screwed. Well, uh, actually, no. The Book of Life. I've written about this in my book, Mere Theology salvation by book. Faith in Jesus gets you into the millennium that we've talked about, this millennium utopia that Jesus is there. But in the end, at the great white throne judgment, there's no mention of Jesus or faith in him at all. You've got your life, what you did, it was recorded in the books, and then another book was opened that was written before earth was made, and it had all the names of the people that would live in it before earth was made, which means God really knew what was going on, which makes sense since he got rid of slavery effectively and slowly, uh, which Sam doesn't agree with. Okay, we'll have that debate. I know I'm not going to expect, I'm not going to, I'm not going to Ivy League on us all here. I'm going to, I'll accept arguments. We get to the end of that, story and the only thing the people go to lake of the lake of fire only if their names were written in the book before earth was made now so far god has proved throughout the bible to be just and fair and good which means that when god wrote the names in the book of life that would decide who does not go into the lake of fire he had a very awesome amazing good reason for it that's the story anyway do you believe it does it transform your life and make you love people that hate you that would prove if it's right that's all approved. Maybe, no, see, well, all of this, we, we can't decide for sure now if, because we can't see it, if this really is true, but you can decide whether you, de, you, you, you believe that it's true in your own heart for yourself. You can't prove it like you can prove the, the, the length of a, of a pencil or something with a ruler. We can't prove it that way. It, it, this is the faith argument and so forth. But if you believe this explanation, that the Bible's talking about a just God in this way, and it transforms your life because you believe it. Wouldn't that be pretty awesome? Aren't we all about making the world a better place? Oh, For you know, all eternity. It's... Well, I, I believe no, in truthful you're speech. Um, Sam, that wouldn't be good. And fortunately, that's not what the case is. You think it is the case from what the Bible says, and I just told you it's not the case, fortunately. That'd be fun to talk about if you're man enough. But... I also believe that you can play this kind of interpretive game with almost any text. Yes, you can play twisting interpretive games with almost any text, whether it's a letter from your friend or a book that's thousands of years old. That's why it's your responsibility to have good hermeneutics. If you're going to go purely literary on any of these texts... Do you mean purely literary, absent of context that explains it all, why it's, why it's good and right what was written? But you're not talking about that, Sam. You're you not. are. You, you, on some level, you're playing tennis without the net. You're huh? just you're unconstrained by the text. This is a genuine problem. You need to be constrained by you need to be constrained by good hermeneutics, Sam. You're right. We have to interpret stuff correctly. You're right, and I believe, Sam, with some of this historical stuff I'm talking about, some of it's like right in the Bible, kind of evident. Darn it, we kind of already knew that, didn't we? We didn't really think about it. Some of it might need to be proven by men more qualified than any of us as far as historical context. But looking at a lot of those, um, I agree with the point Sam's making, that we have to be responsible when we interpret uh, the Bible. We have to be responsible. I think he's making a general point, and he's right about that, but then he's applying it to other topics. Let's see what, what Jordan's interrupting about. And you can do with it... Oh, that's right. Uh, Sam doesn't let Jordan interrupt. Um, <laughs> okay. More or less anything you want. See, one of the things that... Uh, okay, all right. Sam finished. Uh, okay, we just, we just looped back, and uh, this is back at the beginning. That's my uh, critique of the content that we've, we've gone through with this. And I'm going to be coming back with a series of smaller uh, sh podcasts where I'm going to be talking about these topics much more in depth.